hello and welcome back to AkiQuest. in today's tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how you can create grill panels using revit grill panels are important in revit because they are commonly used to conceal ducts and also other things that you don't wish to show to the public you use grill panels to conceal them and that is what i'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial video for our first timers if this is your first time joining the channel welcome my name is grant and in this channel, we publish interesting architecture related content. You can show your support to us by subscribing to our channel, hitting the like button, sharing this video and turn on the notification bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video. Before further ado, let's jump right into Revit. Okay, so as you can see here now, this is the 3D of a building that I have and I want to create a grill around this area because this is the duct area. So for me to create this grill, let's come to the natural the DPC level. So you can see this is the duct area. This is where the piping is going to go through. So I want to create a grill around this place and I don't have any grill family before. So watch what I'm going to do. Now for us to create the grill family, all we just need to do is to click on file, click on open, click on new, click on new family. We click on it you can see this is english imperial if you use imperial uh in your region you can use imperial but in my region we use uh, metric so i'm going to go back to metric click on this now you can see metric now i'm going to select metric cutting wall panel i'm going to click on this and we click on ok now it is going to open the family for us metric cutting wall panel now this is the family now you can see this eq eq here means these two spaces are equal and let's say I just want my grill to be, let's say, 1.2 meters in width. So I'm going to make this 600 and it will automatically affect the other one. So let's say we put our 600 right here and you can see it has automatically affected this two. So the next thing we're going to do is to create a sweep. Now the cutting grill panels are like, they look more like louver windows. Now you have each panel each panel on top each other and just stack and goes up like that so we're going to be doing that now and we're going to be using sweep to do that so you click on sweep you sketch the path you make it from here to this point which is the 1.2 meters okay then you click on finish you come down to one view which is the left view where you can see the uh, side of the grill panels very well then you can sketch your profile so you click on edit to sketch profile uh, let's say we make this 80 okay and we make this 50 okay we uh, hit escape come down here make this 50 as well hit escape then we join them because they are always slanted it's not the group panels are always slanted they are not uh vertically straight or horizontally straight so we click on this and we delete them this is only what we need then we take offset of five five meters we take offset of 5 meters here, take offset of 5 meters here because we want the grill panels to be 10 meter in uh, thickness. So that is all. We delete the center line. Then we join this one to this point. Make sure it is straight. We join this one to this point. Make sure it is straight. Then the next thing we're going to do now, when modeling, if you want to achieve realistic a, a realistic model, you know that all the edges are not supposed to be very sharp like this. They are quite uh, a little bit beveled. So we're going to show ours now. So we click on this icon right here and we click on this two, sorry. We click on this fillet arc and we click on this and this and we bevel it. Let's say one. We do the same thing for this point. We bevel it, let's say one okay then we do the same thing for this other part we bevel it and we do the same thing here we bevel it one all right so now that we are done we click on finish okay click on finish and we hit good now you come back to your reference plane now you can see this is one grill okay so now the next thing we're going to do is to align and lock them together so we click on this we align it to this and we lock this view we click on the reference line we align it to the grill panels and we lock the view so that is all for this grid then all we just need to do is to save you can save it or you can just load it into the project immediately but we're going to saving it first let's save this and let's save this to our desktop let's call this archi quests Aki Quest Grill. 
okay enter all right now we have saved this grill now the next thing to do is to load it into our project now we click on load into the project and it has automatically loaded so now the next thing we are going to do to draw this grill now all we need to do is to come on that wall we go to since we created the grill under the cutting wall family we need to go down to our cutting wall now we click on this cutting wall cutting wall empty we edit it we duplicate it now let's name this aki quest grid <laughs> grill sorry aki quest grill okay now we click on ok and this is the uh we've renamed our family then we just need to check on automatically embed what this does is if you draw a cutting wall or anything here it is going to embed itself inside a wall it won't be separate from the wall so we check this on good then we come to vertical spacing fixed distance horizontal spacing fixed distance now for the vertical spacing that's the distance from one uh uh the edge of the grill panel to the other edge you know we what we did in our family we made use of um 1.2 meters so we're going to make this one two as well then horizontal spacing let's make this 125 or yeah 125 i think or let's make this 150 okay okay once you are done then the next thing you need to do is to add your vertical mullions and your horizontal mullions. Now, we're just going to be adding the border mullions because we don't want any mullions in between. Now, we're going to be adding the border mullions. That is, let's say we add this one, 150 by 50, which is the default um, size of the mullion. Then we do the same thing for the horizontal mullion as well, 150 by 50. And we do the same thing here, 150 by 50. Now, for the final thing we need to do, now we can see that the cutting panel here is no we have not loaded the cutting panel we just created so we click on this and we look at it here because of we loaded it into the project that it will automatically show here so what we can see here now is aki quest grill you can just click on it you click on ok and you have successfully created your grill panels so all you just need to do is draw this grill panel here and it will automatically show itself now you can see this grill panel is starting from the dpc level let's make it zero from dpc level to let's say the first uh, floor level or the ceiling level let's make it all the way to the top now let's go to our 3d view and see what we have created now you can see this grill you can see how how good looking it is although it is quite spacious so we can also reduce the space if we want just click on this come back to um spacing for the horizontal the horizontal uh, spacing horizontal grid let's make this uh 50 i think that that will be okay you click on okay and good it has reduced the spacing and this looks more like it so this is very very good and uh it makes your work look a little bit uh professional so this is how you create uh cutting grids uh grill panels using um revit if you found this video helpful or interesting kindly do well to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get notified on when next we publish a new video see you guys on the next one